What's going on guys? This is Card Warriors Magic and today I have a really cool quickly announcement to make and then a really cool control to teach you guys. Um, just really quick I'll make this announcement. In about the next one to two weeks we're going to be coming out with a Q&A video. Um, so whatever questions you guys have about our channel we're going to be answering it in that. So we would, me and Luke would appreciate if you guys just asked whatever you're curious about um, as long as it's relevant to the channel. But whatever you're curious about or whatever you want to know or just magician tips or whatever you guys feel like asking just go ahead and put it down in the comments on any of the videos um, upcoming or this one um, just go ahead and put those comments down there and we'll try to get those questions answered for you in the Q&A video. Um, so be sure to do that and I'll go ahead and teach you the dribble control. So what I want you to do is go ahead and tell me when to stop. Okay, maybe there. You stop me right there. And then I'll go ahead and take the cards, dribble them just a little bit, and then give them a cut or two, okay? If I just snap, your card jumps right to the top. So that was the dribble control, guys, and be sure to stick around for the explanation. Okay, guys, so this control isn't too difficult, but it can be incredibly deceiving. Um, you'll have to know the dribble to do this move. We will be coming out with probably that in our series, Slights and Flourishes, either soon or we might already have it. But basically what you're going to do, you're going to go ahead and just dribble the cards, and they'll tell you when to stop. So let's say they told me to stop here. You stop the cards, go ahead and show them their card, eight of spades in this case, and continue dribbling the cards is what it looks like you're doing. But what you're actually doing, you're not getting a pinky break. You're going to just dribble the cards out jogging a couple first in the back. Notice right there. So the first card is going to be out jogged. And then just kind of make a sloppy mess of your dribble so people kind of don't know, oh, there's cards out front, out back. But right under this card right here, in fact, the Ace of Spades, is the selected card, right? Because I out-jogged my first dribble. So what you're going to do when you pick up the deck is you're going to push your thumb forward and out and catch that thumb break, okay? Because the thumb break is right above the Eight of Spades you have that thumb break there, transfer that to a pinky break, and then just cut a couple of times down to your pinky break, okay? So again, they stop, select the eight, they stop, maybe here, show them their card, nine of clubs, and then continue dribbling, out jog, right? Messy slop of a dribble, square up by pushing out, thumb break, pinky break, and then you can just cut to it however you like, and there's the nine of clubs. Um, just a little tip, it can be sometimes when you do it sloppily enough, you won't even know what you did, so just be careful to have a defined out jog. Um, if you bevel the deck lightly enough, if you have a too big of an out jog and you're like, oh no, what do I do? Um, just bevel the deck up. Spectators won't be able to see your dribble if you just make a big mess out of it. And then when you come in, just out, push, you have that thumb break, transfer it to a pinky break, and then you can go down to the card, right? So that's how that would work. Um, just be careful. If you do have slippery cards, this can be more difficult because they'll slide around and you'll lose your break, kind of like that. Okay, so just be careful when you do that, but this control is deceiving because unlike um, a control where you would be like, okay, look, six of spades, and then you immediately go to cut the deck, um, some people know about the pinky break, which is why that can be a little less useful, but with the dribble control, they're like, oh, it's, it's just a really sloppy mess, how could he know where my card is now? because once you push in that thumb break you have the pinky and you can just cut right down to it. Um, so it's it's a really useful control. It's fairly easy as long as you know the dribble um, but uh, it's, it's honestly really amazing. So um, yeah guys be sure to like the video. Also please be sure to comment down below um, on our Q&A uh, we really want some questions from you. We've already had some in the past, but we'd love some more just to get to know you guys a little better. And uh, also, uh, be sure to subscribe. Thanks, guys.